Launched on Holloman Air Force Base's 10-mile long high-speed test rail, the rocket-propelled cockpit of the new T-7A Red Hawk advanced trainer is off. Nine months of planning go from zero to Mach 0.26 in seconds. The two test mannequins wired with sensors to record their survivability in the event of an emergency ejection. Less than three seconds into the test, watch as explosive primer core triggers the rear canopy fracturing system, severing the stretched acrylic canopy and paving an exit for the test mannequin in the new Collins Aces 5 ejection seat. Then, less than a second later, the forward ejection seat exits the cockpit. Both mannequins safe and riding a plume of flame out of the cockpit as their escape parachutes open. I had never witnessed one of these myself. The roar of the rocket as it, uh, as it pulled about 7 Gs to go from zero to 200 knots uh, was, was quite impressive. Lots of video, lots of data. We'll analyze that data. High-speed ejection for air crew is always risky, and minimizing that risk is the team's priority focus. We're going to field a lot of airplanes, you know, 350 plus, students flying them three, four times a day. We've got to have something safe to get the instructor pilot or the student pilot out of there. Phenomenal teamwork uh, on this effort, uh, from the, the Boeing design team that uh, put together the configuration changes to the, the Air Force team that worked with us. Preliminary test results indicate a lower risk to air crew. Additional sled tests are planned to validate system performance. The Boeing U.S. Air Force team committed to protecting future fighter and bomber pilots as they train for future missions. We are all about safety. This is all very personal to us. We want to put together a system that's the safest system out there. 